Noku, Noku straight to Ivysaur. Ryan with these desyncs. Desync ICs are a force to be reckoned with. But when you kill one of them, not quite. Side B over. This is side B. You don't see ICs very often. But it is good to see him, especially when you can when he has as much control over them as he does. You're desyncing very easily. So just create a lot of pressure on uh, Noku here. Clearly knows his character. Up he takes it. Playing with <laughs> with Nana while Popo's dying. There. Big button that hits both ICs, so you can't get any. Something's gonna happen. That that looked like shield to drain more than anything. They were just sucking away Noku's shield with that uh, ice blast. These things, although Zard said he doesn't care at all, by the way. The staggered, uh, staggered projectiles coming out from Ryan. That shield damage is insane. Double F tilt doesn't land. Forward and not landing either. Zard still not caring about the two ICs. 170. Forward air will do it though. All he needed for that one was Popo. He didn't need them both. Ivy's back out. Now this is a matchup where I'd say I actually would like Zard over Ivy. Because Zard has big buttons that can be moved and uh, a just the right amount of range. Which I guess Ivy would have more range. But I, don't know, I think I like the heavy here. Goku's about to prove me wrong though. Staying on Ivy. Just getting pelted with icicles. Up there? Yep. <clears throat> Takes game one. Only loses one stock. A few are definitely going to come out from Ryan just to clean up those things around the edges. He got chewed up by the Zard that just refused to die. Staying on ICs. Run it back. Back to PT. Here we go. Immediately returning to send on those projectiles. Almost 20%. Good tech. Just to get out of the combo. Back here. This is, this is the, the sheer amount of like pressure coming from ledge with the two ICs just switching positions like that. But Noku's dealt with a little bit of pressure before. He, he gets through it. Zard is back out. 144 already though. Icy's very good at stacking up that percent. Before you even realize it. Up smash takes Zard out of play. Ryan getting, these, Ryan getting punishes that he wasn't really landing before. Buying that precious time for uh, Icy's desyncs to get uh, something done. Up he lands, sends Nana at a very weird angle. She almost dies. Immediately trying to remove Nana as, as a playable character. Noku does not want to deal with these Icy's, especially their desyncs. Grab Nana with the forward throw. Kills Nana. So next time Popo goes off stage, he's not going to have a very easy time coming back at all if he goes below stage level. Oh. 
the grab doesn't land, but the back air does. It hits him with the edge of the tail, and that'll kill Ryan. Back to Ivy. But he got frozen by Nana while he was back throwing Popo. Nana dies. Very early loss for Nana of Nana. So again, if Popo goes off stage in this situation, he has a very hard time coming back. Here goes Zard. Tries to ledge Trump, but he got he got hit with an up smash instead. 85% on Ryan, 130 on Noku. Flakes are going the wrong way, but F till at ledge just gets it done anyway. Catches the neutral getup. Up tilt, up air not landing, air dodges in. That, I, that looks criminal. Fire versus ice, who wins? No one. But he does it again, catches the L smash while Zard is frozen to kill him. Last stock for both of them, 2% on, 20% on Ryan. Noku's there not landing, but the grab was facing the wrong way. Just a little string of up airs from Noku here as well. Stacking percent. Back throws Nana, gets thrown himself for it. Down air. Down air kills Nana. All right, Ryan's fighting out here with only one Icy. This looks a little tough for him. Situation's looking dire for uh, Ryan here. Up air, yup, he waited for the spot for the Nair dodge. And that will take it. Ryan put up a really, really good fight with those Icy's on uh, their D